hey guys welcome back in this video i want to demonstrate uh, how to integrate jenkins and uh, aws let's say for example uh, i have uh, a jenkins job which deploys terraform scripts terraform needs access to uh, aws account or uh, we have aws cli we want to run aws cli commands on jenkins again uh, aws cli needs access to uh, AWS account. So what we're going to do in this demonstration is we're going to install AWS credentials plugin and uh, we configure that plugin using that plugin get access keys and uh, secret keys of AWS account and uh, test whether those uh, keys are working by running AWS CLI command. The approach of getting aws access keys and secret keys is same for running aws cli command if maybe you're running a python with boto3 stuff or you may be running a terraform scripts okay and for this demonstration i have taken a jenkins i installed jenkins in aws account itself let's move on so first let's install a plugin go to dashboard click on manage Jenkins click on manage plugins I want to install a new plugin click on available search for AWS hyphen credentials select this cloud based AWS credentials select this install without restart Perfect. This plugin got installed successfully. Now the next step is I want to create access keys and uh, secret keys in uh, AWS account. Let's go to IAM dashboard and let's create a new user for this demonstration and uh, let's get access keys and uh, secret keys. Click on users, add user. Let's name this Jenkins demo. We need only access keys and secret keys. We do not need password here because it's a programmatic access, uh, just access key type of uh, credentials or uh, NF. Go to permissions. Uh, we can attach any permission like admin or uh, you can create a custom policy, whatever. I will keep this one uh, with EC2 full access. Go next. Tags are optional. Click on review. Uh, hit create. It got created. Okay. So now user is ready. Go back to Jenkins. Go back to manage Jenkins because I want to store access keys and secret keys uh, in credentials. Okay. In Jenkins credentials. So here, uh, manage credentials and click on global, add credentials, okay, uh, AWS credentials. This option shows up only after installing uh, AWS credentials plugin. So click on it, right? So provide a credential ID. I call this AWS Jenkins demo and description optional let's call this integrating Jenkins and uh, uh, AWS okay now pick up access key ID and secret key ID here take this access key ID so i will be deleting this access key after this demo later you guys won't be able to access it uh, it is not good idea to expose access keys and uh, secret keys usually so now so there is a support for iam role we can talk about that uh, in a different video 
so now let's click on add let's not save it and of course see this one we created uh, aws credentials right by keeping uh, access key id and uh, secret access key so go back to dashboard and let's create new job yeah select pipeline click on ok and uh, here i will uh, grab pipeline code from my local uh, notepad hold on okay this is our uh, regular pipeline having agent having stages uh, we got one stage giving a stage name and inside steps right we are using with credentials a uh, step this is built-in step and in that we need to add this code so the class name you need to exactly give same class name so credential id i need to change because the credential id we are using is different one second let's pick up that credential id from manage jenkins manage credentials this one this one so aws jenkins demo right make sure it is aws jenkins demo so what's happening is uh, when you generate this okay you also can generate this using pipeline syntax so here uh, you check for with credentials under this you check for this one right so aws access key and secret key it's auto populating uh, access key variable secret key variable and there is only one credentials configured under this and you can click on generate but the problem is uh, it is not generating the correct syntax okay see so it's just giving a placeholder so that's the reason what I did, I, I prepared that myself and I kept it ready. So it should be like with credentials followed by this stuff. Okay, come back to the job and see this one with credentials, double square braces for opening and double uh, square braces for closing inside that. We need to define a class. We need to uh, provide our correct credential ID and access key variable secret key variable so within this block with credentials block so any command we run right we are running uh, aws cli command to list buckets for this access keys are access keys and secret keys are required so how we are getting access keys and secret keys with help of with credentials plugin and likewise let's say you guys are dealing with multiple aws accounts you can create multiple credential IDs with multiple access keys and secret keys like dev, stage, prod and accordingly uh, refer the access key ID. If you want to perform this on prod, you must have a production credential ID which is containing access keys and secret keys of uh, production data and perform this operation. So here I am showing AWS CLI. Here, right you can have even terraform apply command which uses these keys and performs a terraform apply operation or you can run a python script let's say a python script is talking to your aws resources it works okay so let's do a save and let's do a build let's open its console it's taking some time so it's working but we got an exception access denied the reason is uh, this keys right having access to only ec2 but we are running commands on s3 that's why it's failing let's go back 
uh, let's configure go to pipeline I'll call describe instances to build it has to uh, describe instances the reply will come in JSON format okay there is one more problem uh, it says uh, we must specify a region that's okay I'll fix it click on configure uh, go to your pipeline code so I'm giving AP South 1 uh, I have EC2 instances running in AP South 1 save it build right see it's presenting as with uh, EC2 instances in AP South 1 so this uh, concludes the configuration we did right uh, AWS credentials we configured that's perfectly working and uh, let me show you how to stop EC2 instance from Jenkins let's go to EC2 dashboard uh, let's pick uh, one instance randomly pick its instance ID I come back to uh, Jenkins pipeline job click on configure here start instances instance IDs okay uh, let me grab this command from internet start instances click on examples yeah let's use this syntax uh, instance side is looks like I correctly used syntax uh, instance IDs and provide instance ID followed by mention region in which region uh, this instance IDs are present save what am I doing one second okay we are starting it right we are starting it and uh, let's click on it it is in stop state fine save build open console perfect it's doing its job so previous state was stopped and current state is pending go to dashboard refresh and check its status or do a hard refresh perfect see that it's in running state so that's what I want to show in this demo so we are using access keys and secret keys okay uh, is there other way of uh, doing same stuff yes if your Jenkins is running in EC2 right what you can do is uh, instead of installing uh, a cloud based AWS credentials plugin uh, you can attach a role see let's go to instances and my Jenkins is running here what I can do is uh, go to actions go to security and here right I can create IAM role and attach so that's one more way of uh, uh, integrating Jenkins and uh, AWS accounts and sometimes we want to assume role meaning uh, we are in some uh, DevOps uh, AWS account we want to assume to a production account we want to assume to staging account so that is also supported by the plugin we installed 
So go back to dashboard. I'll click on uh, manage Jenkins. I'll click on manage credentials. Click on uh, global and click on add. So here choose AWS credentials and check advanced support. See this one IAM role support, right? So with help of this, we can get a temporary tokens like using uh, assume role concept we can get temporary tokens of any different aws account provided that account is granting access to our uh, iam role or our aws account so likewise we can switch okay so right now we are directly pointing to the account and performing operations and if we use iam role we can switch like from this account i can switch to prod get tokens of it work on it I can switch to staging, I can switch to development, get the tokens of uh, staging and development, work on it. Okay, overall, that's all uh, from this video perspective, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys in next video.